This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, good morning everyone. So uh, we're continuing in this series, we're calling it Upgrading Your Tefillah to be able to have perhaps some additional kavana in words that we're saying anyway. So we know that one of our main uh, focuses and emphasis in our hearts and in, in our kavanas is, is our children. Everyone's dream is to have Zara Chayev Kayama. Zara Dila Yivsoik, Vidila Yivtom, Hipiskama Yeraisa. It is every parent's dream to have children who follow in the Dar Chatoira. But what's interesting is there are really no explicit places, for the most part, where Chazal have formulated a liturgy that we could daven for our children. So the Mishnah Bura in Sim Mem Zayn Siv Katan Yud is really citing the Shlach HaKadosh and the Shar HaOisiyos, Ois Dalet Simen Chavzayin. And the Mishnah Bura and the Shla, based on the Shlach, gives us basically three intervals in the davening, which are meyuchad, which are designated to be able to pray for one's children. So the, the Lashon of the Shla, and this is codified by the Mishnah Bura, is the Tamid Tiyat Fila Shigura B'fi Ava Aim. Always, at all times, a parent should frequently pray for their children, Lehispalel Al Zaram, Sheyu Loim De Torah, that they should learn. With uh, they should be righteous. Ubali midos toivos, they should have good character. Vichavin b'moid alza b'berchas hatayra, they should have a lot of kavana uh, when they say berchas hatayra. In other words, the first interval that one could be mechavin to daven for their children is in berchas hatayra when you say the words v'niya anachnu v'tzeet so'inu, and we and our offspring should be kulanu yoyde shemecha in other words, we're doubting. We're asking Hashem to please sweeten the Torah in our mouths, in the mouth of our children, that we should all recognize you and learn your Torah lishma. So the first important interval is Berchas HaTorah. Likewise, says the Shla in Ahava Rabbah, when you say Avinu of Harachaman, our Father, merciful Father, Hamarachim, who has mercy, Rachim Aleinu, have mercy on us. V'sein b'libeinu, put in our hearts, l'havin ulahaskel, to understand, to comprehend. And then, finally, says the Shlach HaKadosh, also when you say the words, l'ma'an l'iniga l'arik v'leineled l'abahala, so that I did not toil for emptiness or give birth for confusion. When you say that, tefillah, towards the end of Uval uh, Tzion, one should also have in mind the spiritual well-being of one's children. So what's interesting is that the Belzer Rebbe once pointed out that in Shemayna Esrei itself though, which is incredible, here Chazal have codified all the needs of man, there it doesn't seem to be a tefillah to daven for one's children. And the Belzer Rebbe said, it's printed in the Siddur Avodas Hashem, that because it's such a chash of tefillah, so that the malachim are not makatreg on this tefillah, and it should be accepted baratzayin, there is no explicit tefillah for banim, and Hatzlacha Bebanim. Everyone has to down from the depths of their heart, but there is a remez. He says when they say, now there are two versions of this. I think what I'm about to say is the more correct version. He said when you say the words, Ladar Vadar, Noidelacha, Nesarbti Yosach, Moidim Anach So um, we say, Moidim Anach Loshatahu Hashem Laikeinu, Velikevseinu. Um, we say the, uh, the Lashon of Moidim. So in the liturgy of Moidim, we say, Li'aylam ba'ed, tzor chayenu, magin yishenu, atahu, lidar vadar, noidelacha. So when we say those words, lidar vadar, the Belzer Rebbe said, that is the interval in Shman Eser that one could be mechavein for hatzlacha bebanim. But it's sort of hidden and it's not explicit to protect us from the kitrug of the malachim. There is a version that what he said was, when you say lidar vadar, nagid godlecha, but I, that would be somewhat um, questionable because that is only said in Nusach Ashkenaz and um, in Bells they dive in uh, the Nusach Sfar based on the Rizal. But that's a fourth interval. The fourth interval would be Ladar Vadar Noidel in Moidim. I would humbly add a fifth interval that one could be misfollow for the success of their children and that is in Elaikai Nitzar and this is actually uh, Toysus. Toysus and Brachas Daf Yud Zayin Toysus says, what, what do the words mean? V'navshi ke'afar la'koltiyah. 
my soul should be like dust for everyone. Which I always understood to mean, we're asking God that we should, we're hum, we should be humble, we should not pay attention to insult and the like. However, Toysra says the tefillah v'nafshi ka'afar la is just like afar, is not mekabel destruction, just like dirt is not mekabel kliya, just like dust will never, can never be consumed, can never be destroyed forever, so too may it be the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that my descendants should never be destroyed. Just like you can't destroy the earth, so my descendants also should be eternal. Like we say, V'hoya zaracha ka'afar ha'aretz, which according to Toysus doesn't necessarily mean that our, our children should be as numerous as the sand, but rather what it means is my children should be eternal, like the dirt can never be destroyed. So these are five intervals that one is able to daven for one's children. Again, V'niya anachnu v'tzatzainu, V'sem blibeinu l'hav and l'haskel and ahav araba, L'man l'niga l'rik l'anel b'halo v'alatziyayin l'dar v'dar noidelcha and moidim, or you could add l'dar v'dar nagid g'alecha, and finally, V'navshi ke'afra la'koltiyah. The Belzer Rebbe said that when you say these words, L'dar v'dar, the, these words cannot even be said without being yore demais, without shedding bitter tears, that the Rebbe Shem should be mekabal art filois. May the Rebbe Shem grant us banu v'nei banim, oiska matar v'mitzvais, al Yisrael shalim. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.